was here. So don't do these mistakes, the mistakes that I've done. So in this video, I'm gonna go through what have I learned from starting YouTube? And what would I do differently? What mistakes do I feel like I've made? So I've been doing YouTube roughly over, just over 500 and 530 days. So based on that, what would I, what have I learned? More, more importantly, what have I learned? So first of all, learn to edit. So I couldn't edit before this. I couldn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even know how to operate a camera, let alone edit a program. And I th like to think my editing's quite good. It's not up there with like the best, but to say I'm self-taught, literally learning on the job. I honestly, you cannot, cannot ask for more really. I'm really pleased with my editing. And I kind of, now I'm on Filmora, kind of know what I'm doing, which is great. Also, I've learned how to plan. I, like, I don't just, I've said this in the past, I don't just stick a camera on in the gym or wherever I am and just wing it. I kind of plan it, not do like a, I kind of plan the story in my head before I do it, how I'm gonna sort the drone footage out. Like I've said on my um, how-to videos, how I film, there's more goes into it than what people think. I've also learned how to use cameras, like, like cameras and everything and drone and everything. I didn't, I didn't have a clue I can fly a drone. I didn't know about settings on the camera. I didn't know about framing. I didn't know any of this. Proper learned on the job. And I find that the footage that I'm doing is really good. Like now I've got the shotgun mic. I've got the external microphone. So the microphone quality is a lot better. It is, it's like mental. If you put the built into this, wow, Mwah, lovely. Also, under learning what will do well in a video and what won't do well. I mean, I've read a quote somewhere that make the videos you want to make and everything else will fall in place. I don't make videos what I think will be popular. I make videos that I want to make. That's the most important thing, but no, I kind of getting to know what I do, will do well. Eating challenges, they will do well on, the, on my channel as opposed to a video of me just lifting. I find them. the fitness industry is just massively saturated with fitness creators and you've got to do something very different to stand above the rest or stand out and that's difficult when there's so many it's very difficult I mean, it's not a quick road it's not really it's like I know people youtubers that are popular now have been doing it for five six seven years maybe even longer and they're just getting traction so i'm thinking future i'm thinking years down the line and that's what i'm thinking with the channel so at the moment i'm really happy with it but i'm thinking in the future not thinking this video not thinking next video i'm thinking 100 videos down the line i've learned with the channel that I, I what i didn't really know what to expect when i started a channel but I thought I'd maybe be further along than I am now. I thought I'd maybe have a few more subscribers than I have now with the amount of videos. But then I find now the, the quality of footage is a lot better than it was. I'll get on to points with that when I do it differently. I would just thought it was, I didn't think it would have been as slow as it is. I mean, I've got 94, I know that I know people that have started doing stuff on Instagram or started doing stuff on YouTube and within a couple of weeks there were 500 subscribers. And I know it's different because it's different genres and it's fitness, which like I've said, is saturated with fitness and not all good, but there are lots of amazing fitness people out there, which are obviously gonna, gonna pu pu push the head above the rest. But I've learned a lot. I feel like if you were to watch the first, I did what I did, I filmed a video of reacting to my first video and it's cringy. If you were to go from there to here, I can watch my videos back now and they don't affect me. I'm not bothered. I used to get embarrassed and I will promote it now. I'm promoting it massively. 
talking to people about it and I don't really care now. I'm not really embarrassed about promoting it. I'm really proud of the channel. When I click on YouTube Studio or Google or I go into YouTube and I search my name and all the thumbnails come up and why I made those, they look really good. So I'm really pleased with it. What would I do differently? And what should you do? First, like not what I've done. Don't just name the video anything. Really, really research what will do well. Like what I've named this video. Are you start starting YouTube? Don't do these. That's going to make people click on it. And I'm hoping to what I wish I'd done at the start. If you do straight away, you'll get to jump. And you'll be better. Yeah, don't just name it anything. I've named videos in the past like heavy squats or something. No one's going to click on that. Unless the, even fitness people, that's going to be boring. Oh, what a uh, and they'll see how long it is. What, 13 minute video squats? Boring. In my defense, when I was doing the videos, we were in the lockdown, you can't do anything else. I was, we were living at the in-laws and my mum and dad's. There's no real place to film. Like now I could go downstairs, sit on the living room table, set the cameras up, set the tripods up, set the lights up, and I could film an eating challenge because it's my house and I'm not getting in the way of anybody. But back then, I didn't want to encroach on anybody. There was no real place to do it. So it was just footage. And I find that's been a negative because just if people have clicked on it and like I'll get onto it, maybe not the best of qualities, they're not going to come back. Are they going to click over the video? Because I find one of the reasons that my channel has been slow in the progression is I find in my opinion, there's two, type, two types of YouTube videos. There are searchable, like for instance with me, five exercises to blow your quad up. How to grow your quad. People are gonna actually search for that in the search bar. So you're maybe gonna get click, you're gonna maybe gonna get return from that. As opposed to mine, which are more documenting what I'm doing, as opposed to like this one. The, the, the searchable ones are gonna get more growth quicker than what I'm doing. So I find that's if if I was if I was to do a series of how to grow your quad, how to grow your back, how to bicep, bicep curl, and the, the, the researchable title, like what you would put in Google or you would put in YouTube, then you've got more chance of getting clicks on it. But because I'm going down a different route, more like the Casey Neistat, Scott Brown Carpentry, like the vlogging, but more cinematic of what I'm doing. I'm not just plonking the camera down and recording it. I'm thinking more in depth into it because my content isn't always searchable. I put tags on, but it's not always searchable. I also wish I started the channel earlier. I'm really enjoying it, even more so when it starts to grow. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. I'm enjoying the whole process of it. It's tiring, it's long-winded to get it good, but I'm really, really enjoying it. It's, it's, it's brilliant, I'm having such fun. It's exciting learning new things, but it's also exciting to think about different ideas and different ways of getting the, the, the story across. Well, this is one of the big ones. I wish when I started, I'd gone for great cameras to start with. This was my first, this was my first camera, the Treo, and it's, it's all right. Building my shocking it's all right but if i'm wanting to i find with the and with the and with the channel and with youtube as a whole quality stands out if you click on a video and it's really bad quality like this camera is people aren't going to click back or they're not going to come back or they're going to associate your name or your title or your brand with not being very good with your brand of not being they're going to associate it with not being very good and that I don't like that. I want people to click on it and it'd be good quality. So now the good cameras, this one, which is also nice, but this is, um, yeah. And the drone, all great quality. Now I've got shotgun mic. I bought, I feel like the audio and now the visual, everything's brilliant with the editing and with me, because obviously you all come here for me. 
Now I'd wish that I'd not used built-in mics. I wish I'd got shotgun mics from the word go. I didn't realize how bad the built-in was. There's a video coming out of the new microphone. But I, I wish, I, you don't, if you was listen to this, what I'm talking now from the built-in microphone as opposed to the shotgun mic, wow. This picks up more, but doesn't pick up the stuff you don't need. It's omnidirectional. This was a brilliant microphone. It's really, really good. I also wish that I'd do differently, that I'd have more confidence straight away. Make you realize that people don't really care what you're doing, don't really, aren't really bothered about what you're doing and are more, what's the word? encouraging or encouraging towards what you're trying to do then you think you always think a negative when people are looking at you like i took this camera into the gym today with the dead cat on top of it or whatever it's called and the microphone and they got so many looks but great they were really intrigued wish i'd used an seo company search engine optimization company first straight away i find that would have shot me up like the video that went live last from filming this so i've like 32 views 33 views i got news now that wouldn't have had that without this I, you'd, I, what tags do i put on i don't probably i don't know what are going to be good tags what are going to be bad tags what's going to get a good search return what are going to get that's what i've used tube buddy for they're amazing so if you're starting youtube and you're wanting to put the right the right foot forward straight away and not waste time Good cameras, don't have to be the best cameras, but good a good pixel rate to full HD, good cameras and good audio. Editing needs to be good. You just need to make good videos, but I find if you get the fundamentals down, you get the bass right down, get it good videos, good audio, and tell a good story, you're gonna move, you're gonna get you're gonna get traction. So yeah, that's what I do differently. So yeah, I've got, I've got drive. I don't feel like I've, I feel like I, I hit a bit of a blip a couple of months ago when I was still on like 60 some subscribers after doing so much effort and work and then all of a sudden we're 94. So I've, not, I've got big plans for this channel, big plans for the brand. It's just gonna take time, which I'm aware of. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're starting YouTube, subscribe to me. And I'll subscribe back. So yeah, the big, the big few. Good cameras. Don't go for a cheap camera. Although it says it's 4K or 2.7K, it's, it's not. Good cameras. Good audio. And just have fun. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.